Design Philippines is our banner, a beacon to shine the light on our homegrown furniture and homeware companies. So collectively, Design Philippines is a group of um, artisans, designers, and craftspeople who are taking the storied history of Philippine design into a new contemporary consciousness. So specific to Misson and Ogje and more, or MOM, the two Design Philippines accounts are collective accounts intended to expand the nature of trade promotions, to introduce a new way of doing things under the new normal. Our eligibility rules state that they need to be part of our product development program to qualify. So since we wanted to expand the program, we were looking at brands and companies who were already conducting their own design program, had their own brand building, and were already doing their own digital marketing. How we chose these companies? Well, we worked in close consultation with our creative directors for MOM, that's uh, Rita Nazareno and Gabby Lechauco. We selected brands based on their active participation as exhibitors on Fame Plus, together with um, collections that they already had, which would fit our theme. And of course, um, their willingness to fly the flag of the Philippines for this um, MOM participation. We're going with the theme White Out, which was um, conceived by creative directors Rita Nazareno and Gabby Lechauco, especially as a result um, of what's been happening in the pandemic. White Out is intended to be like a clean slate that would, you know, wash over all of us. So the call for participation started in about March um, of this year, um, and we uh, approached companies who we felt were ready to participate on MOM. So Rita and Gabby then reviewed the nominated products and those approved were uploaded on the MOM platform through our accounts. What we really want to emphasize in the MOM participation though is the nature of the platform, which is digital. So aside from um, equipping the exhibitors or our Philippine delegation, with the photographs and the, the know-how of how to maintain a visually stunning digital storefront using data to amplify their online discoverability and stand out on high-performance B2B platforms that feature thousands of international brands. The way they answer, for example, um, when buyers inquire, um, the way they're able to um, integrate their social media accounts together with the promotions that Sitem does, so all of these come into play with regards to this new type of participation on the digital sphere. Well, because of our expansion program, we were able to onboard some really cool brands that normally wouldn't participate in our overseas trade fairs. To name a few, we have Vito Selma, whose new collection of which the Doremi stool is part encapsulates just how integral material manipulation is in Philippine design. In the case of the Doremi stool, it's the rice husk which was utilized and innovated. We also have Layag Lamp, which is based on the fishermen from Manapla and whose story behind the concentric rattan rings bound together with cotton cord. So those are getting really good traction from our MOM buyers. The decos work uh, also with local artisans and indigenous communities also features prominently in their line of home accessories and lamps and lighting, as seen in their use of natural fibers. So these um, have also been getting rave reviews. Another example is Milo Naval, who is practically a legend in Manila fame, who's participating through his brand, Omo, who's a pillar of the Philippine design community and is also doing really well in the digital sphere. Well, needless to say, it is our premium artisanship, our innovative techniques, and our expertise in material manipulation, which will also serve as a preview of the unique takes of our designers on the country's rich material culture that we will bring to fore in this MOM participation. So all of these really come to play in the evolving story of Philippine design, which we hope to bring to our buyers and the audience at large. Personally, I think now is the time to stand up and be noticed again. In September of last year, seven Fame Plus brands, that's Albero, Indigenous, Imurio Manila, Nature's Legacy, 
prismic and real depends on lighting and objects and Zacharias were selected for one of the eight themes. Now is the time for us to show a new generation of buyers what Philippine design is all about. With regards to what makes Philippine design stand out, there's no direct translation. It's called Malasakit, which the direct translation is heart. And it is what guides the hands of Filipino craftsmen and artisans in every piece they make. And that's what you see is the difference with Philippine design.